So there is uh, an alternative to this headdress, which is this one here. So making it's basically making a wire frame for the front of your headdress rather than the cardboard piece and covering it in braid. Um, so the main structure stays the same. So you've still got your back card piece here and you've got your arc piece which you staple along the top but instead of having that front piece you make a little wire piece and then glue that to the sides. Um, it just gives a much uh, sort of prettier, more feminine effect, a um, bit more like Rio Carnival style. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So just take a bit, bit of wire and if you measure it across your forehead, so you want it to sort of go from kind of temple to temple, just cut it with some pliers. You need two pieces like that. So cut two pieces the same. There we go. And then you need to wrap them around each other at either end. So you just twist it. Use your pliers tighten it up at the end and then arc it over there twist this piece around here just tighten them up with the pliers um, so you have a little piece which looks like that then you take your braid and your glue gun and you put a blob of hot glue at the end just wrap your braid around it like that. And you're essentially just wrapping and covering all of your wire. So just keep putting a little blob at a time of glue and wrapping your braid around. So you want to cover all of this piece and all of this piece. So when that's done, it will look like this piece here. So that's been covered top and bottom piece with just twisting your braid around with the hot glue. Now you want to make a little decorative piece that's going to go in the middle. So again, cut a piece of wire and you decide the kind of shape that you want. Okay. I decided to just cross it over like that and twist it around and then you can take these top pieces and curl them but again you know you could do a figure of eight you can do more um, little twirly bits whatever takes your fancy really so this is going to be this kind of decorative piece that is going to sit on the front of your uh, headband piece. So again let's take some braid, enough to cover the little front piece that you've made. And uh, yeah, same thing that you did before, a bit of hot glue and then wrapping, wrapping your braid When you've done that, then you will have a piece which looks like this piece here. So you then, again, just get your glue gun and glue that finished piece onto the front of your headband. And then you can put a gemstone on it. You can put some decorative um, feathers behind it. Um, and basically again do whatever you want to jazz it up a bit and uh, and then we're going to make our back piece in the same way that we made our um, headband before so you just take your middle piece and you can just cut into it okay, fold the edges back so I've covered an arch piece with some blue fabric this time and just going to staple it on to my middle piece Oops. 
so then yeah you've got your little um nice little archway piece mounted onto the back of your headdress um with this one i just uh cut some little notches into the back to make um a little funky sort of uh spiky shape but again that you know totally up to you you can just do whatever you want and then you want to take your front piece that you've made and attach it to either side. With this stuff, you can't staple this on because it's wire. So uh, you have to use a bit of hot glue. Just hold that on and leave that to dry. And then what you'll need to do to strengthen that is you'll need to get a little bit of cardboard if you've got a spare piece of cardboard lying around. Take a little piece of cardboard and um, you can just glue it over the top just to make sure that it stays in place. You might need to hold that in place, um, maybe for about up to a minute, just while that glue dries and solidifies. Do the same on the other side. So you can see how I've done that, that there with a bit of cardboard over the top just there. Put your feathers on, put your jewels on, put your bling on, um, punch a hole in the back like we did with the last one either side, put a bit of elastic across it and um, there you go, headdress number two.